Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video today. I am working on a somewhat unusual layout here. This will be a six by eight pocket page and then this side I just have an insert page protector that has two horizontal three by fours. So not quite a traditional layout, but I like having the different sizes. And these photos worked out well to have them printed at a smaller size. So they're gonna go in there. And then I have everything else picked out for photos and this card. I wanted something black and white because of the picture of the menu I had. And this, there was a lot of white happening in general in these photos. So I wanted to make sure that I had a similar aesthetic to that. On this photo, as you can see, I used a digital stamp and I just typed in dinner right onto the photo. So that is not stamping, that was done digitally before I printed. It came out a little dark against the red or burgundy tablecloth here, but I'm going to leave it because I think you can see it well enough. If I were going to redo it, I might place it down here over the napkin, but otherwise I probably wouldn't change anything else. All right. So when I'm thinking about my next step, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I like to use phrase labels. I have a ton. I generally buy digital files, and then I print and cut at home. I sort them by color so I can find them. Well, for this one, I didn't have something at the ready that I liked, so I decided to make my own. So what I did was... I just went into the Project Life app, I picked a background color that I thought would match, which is this green, and then I typed in a bunch of phrases. If I was going to print, I didn't want to just print this, that's kind of a waste of ink and time, and so I did a bunch of phrases, and this was one of them. So I've just cut it out here, and originally I thought I was going to put it down here, under where it says dinner, but now that I'm looking at it to bring some color to this card, I think I'm going to place it like that. I really only lose one line of journaling space, which is fine, and then I still have the rest of this available, and I love how it brings in some color. All right, so I have attached that, and I like the way that looks, and then when I knew I was going to have a food layout, I pulled out some stuff here. These are all from a recent release by Ally Edwards. It's all travel related stuff here. And then these were from a food release. And I didn't buy anything else really in the in that line except these because I loved the chipboard. So I'd really like to see if I can work one or more of these in here somewhere. Uh, the green is a little bit darker, but this yellow kind of mustardy color might work. Brunch definitely not right. Uh, I could maybe get away with this, but I'm really not a super picky eater, so I'm not sure how I would use that. But this, I would love to see if I can work it in. It's kind of odd in a way that it says thank you for this meal. I don't know if it's intended to be like for something made at home for some, you know, by someone you know. But I think maybe I could get away with it because I was grateful for having a delicious meal while on vacation. Before I attach anything that's from those chipboard pieces, I do have these. I just ordered these and got them a few days ago. I do want to open it up and use one of the chipboard geotags right here in this little space. The smaller ones are just about the perfect size and there is a little brown here and it will help break up so much green, so much white. So I have attached the geotag and it was a perfect fit on there. So I'm very pleased with that. And this is the glue I used to attach it. For this card, I did enter just the small details down here because that's easy to do. I have to think harder about what I want to journal, but for that I could fill it in, so I did do that. And then I am going to punch out this heart chipboard here because I do want to use that. And when I was looking at all the photos, because there is kind of the mustard color over here, I need it to go on this side. And I think I'm going to solve two problems. I'm going to bring in some color on this side and I think I'm gonna cover up these people here because then it's really just the focus will be on the waiter and the bottles of wine up there. So I think I'm going to place it like that or maybe a, a little above him, something like that, just so that I can cover up a little bit of that. For this photo, I think I want to do some stamping in the lower right-hand corner. So I have pulled out my food stamps here 
and I will select something and I think I will do it in green and I've picked out this color the only problem is I don't have green and stays on so I don't know that it's going to work to stamp directly on here I'm going to try it I don't really care I guess that it takes a long time to dry I just don't want it to smear so I'll try it if it looks horrible I'll have the option that I could just do a white piece of paper stamp on that and overlay it because this isn't a true white this is kind of I don't know there's some kind of a pattern there and it was more like a light gray almost on the menu so I could cover it up if it doesn't work but I at least want to try the stamping I've pulled out this stamp set and I think this is from Technique Tuesday what is it yeah Technique Tuesday Planner Chow Down from 2016. So this is an older one. I'm not sure if it's still available with their site or not, um, but you can check if you like it. But I think I'm just gonna do this little stamp here that says Eat Out. I don't wanna do anything that is too filled in terms of color because that might get me into trouble since I don't have stays on ink. Whereas if I just do some thin lettering, that gives me a better chance of not screwing it up. All right, I did the stamping and it came out well, but I'm not sure how long that's gonna to take to dry or if it will even totally dry. So I'm gonna to have to let that sit for a while, which is fine. And I apologize if you can hear that. Someone's cutting grass outside. <laughs> Sorry, can't control that. Uh, the other thing that I was thinking about is still putting something under where it says dinner, but I'm not sure exactly what I would put there. I think I've come up with something that I can do under where it says dinner. I had this phrase and it's actually a pendant on one end and it says this is the best which I don't necessarily like 100% because if I want to keep the pendant I have to put it to the side and that's very similar to what I have here already so what I think I might do is cut off the pendant end trim this a little bit and just place it underneath there I could go off center a little bit I just don't want it all the way to the edge. So I'm gonna mess around with that, see what I like, and then I'll be back. All right, I did decide to cut off both ends there. So now I just have the regular phrase and I'm going to attach it here. And I'll just see what I like. If I do it completely underneath, it would be here. I cover up a little bit of the fork, but not, not too much. Uh, if I put it off to the side a little bit, Ooh, I like that better. It covers up a little bit more of the white napkin and since that's dead space, that might be good. Yeah, I like that. Plus it gives just slightly more room between this yellow and this yellow. So I think I will place it right about there. Now the next question is, do I wanna put staples in the ends? I don't think I do. I think it looks okay the way it is. So I'm gonna drop all of these in the page protector and see if I want to do anything else, but I'm guessing I don't because I like that these two photos don't have anything else on them. They're pretty busy, as they are, and then these are opposite each other, and I've already done something to both of these photos, so they should be good. So I have everything on this side in the page protector, and I am happy with that, so that's going to stay that way. When I started looking at these, I decided that I didn't like these two elements so close together, so I think I'm going to switch them and they'll look like that instead. And I just tested this one to make sure it's dry. This ink is dry already, so excellent. Now I know that I can maybe use some of those regular inks on these photos if I'm really careful. And since I like this one better on top, I'm gonna slide that one into that pocket. And add the lower one. All right, so there's the completed left side. I'm really happy with this layout. It came together relatively quickly and I love all the mix of colors. Thanks for watching everyone.